Choosing the right schedule. Teaching in the block. Referencing years of national research, acclaimed expert Dr. Robert Kennedy starts the program by discussing his findings on the pros and cons of block scheduling. If you're going to give me 40 minutes, I'm lucky to have 30 minutes of teaching. There's not much, le much option left for some lecture and making some assignments. Now when you start giving me 80 or 90 minutes, I've got some chance to uh, begin to think about how can I get students more involved in their learning. In other words, we're beginning to accept the fact that maybe it ought to be the student that, who's doing the work and not so much the teacher. Regardless of whether your school is considering switching to block scheduling or has been on the block for years, you will find Dr. Candidate's recommendations eye-opening. If you are contemplating moving to the block, you will welcome the practical advice offered by Dr. David Hottenstein in Module 2. Learn the pros and cons of various types of block schedules. Hear how Mr. Hottenstein's school successfully scheduled band classes and advanced placement courses. Discover how to maintain your interdisciplinary teams within a block schedule. And most importantly, how block scheduling impacted classroom instruction and student achievement. Module 3 of the program is designed for teachers and includes detailed case studies from four different schools that successfully implemented block schedules. Hear why each school selected a different type of block schedule and how they dealt with the transition process. The case studies include schools that adopted a 4x4 schedule, a rotating AB schedule, a trimester block, and a middle-level hybrid. Each case study is packed with suggestions and ideas from teachers who have successfully enhanced instructional opportunities for students in their classes. From my discipline, foreign language, there's more time to get really involved with the language. It allows for maybe after learning something that's not as fun, say grammar, to have a game that goes along with it instead of just this is learning it and then having a homework assignment. One thing that I think is very important is movement and um, I try to get my students to move around the class a lot. I know for me it's hard to sit for an hour, let alone an hour and 40 minutes. In the case of my situation as a science teacher, math and science are taught one block after another. So what that enables the, the uh, science teacher or myself to do is to use those math concepts and, and math ideas. Learn the important changes teachers need to make to successfully teach in longer periods of time. The last module of the program centers on measuring the long-term impact of block scheduling. Practitioners from schools that previously adopted block scheduling answer the important question, did block scheduling work? Did it make a difference? Two experienced Pennsylvania administrators reflect on their move to the block five years ago. The seven period and eight period days are such a frenetic experience for students and teachers. Being in those seven period and eight period days, one doesn't realize how much time is invested in transition. A New Jersey principal talks candidly about some of the mistakes he made during the important transition process then provides important suggestions to ensure that you don't make the same mistakes. And we looked originally at the alternating day block schedule, the A-B schedule. And originally, administrative, we thought that was the way to go. But when we really looked at the double four and how I could reduce my teacher load down to 75 to 80 students per semester, it made a lot more sense to us. In the first year, we uh, spent a lot of time uh, making sure everything ran so well, and it actually ran so well we were lulled to sleep a little bit. Um, and I should have paid more attention to, and I would encourage anybody else that's contemplating the block to pay attention to that second year. Uh, take your time, do your homework, uh, and be prepared. It's just like a classroom teacher. The better prepared you are, the, the more successful you'll be.